So, we're in the red light district right now, which is an area that most people know about when uh, they think about Amsterdam. But we've come here for a couple of reasons. The first one is that I heard an amazing story today um, whereby the state has recently bought a whole load of the shop fronts yes. in... You already know this, don't you? Know, <laughs> yeah, old news for him. So the state, shop, the state has recently bought a whole load of the shop fronts in the red light district and um, has been renting them out to young Dutch fashion designers. So they exhibit their collections there. Um, and you can be walking along and you'll see some new Dutch fashion. Um, so a mannequin, you know, it's, it's just a really great idea and really Dutch, you know, a really great idea. So um, you don't only come to the red light district for the things you, the things you expect. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's nice. Something it's more. Clever. It's also something cultural. And of course, it's uh, a great place to for nightlife to have to visit the bar, just relax, just hang out, just walk around, get some impressions. And I think it's also uh, it's, it's one of the safest places in Holland. So. Let's check it out. But I really want some dessert first. Okay, let's okay. find some dessert. Let's <laughs> get some dessert, man. <laughs> no problem. So now we're at the Faber. And here's where you can get your meal out of the wall. So let's do it. I would like to have a croquette. It's typical Dutch. You put what's, some money in it. What's inside a croquette? It's some kind of a ragu. I don't know. Uh, it's it's a meat of a beef meat, chopped. And boiled and stuff, but it's, it's really good. So you put your money in? Yes, you put your money in, and then you, you put up, you open a, one of the lockers, you close it, it's closed, it stays closed. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. Are you, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, it is. And then you, uh, well, you can uh, just. Very good. Very good, eh? Yeah, I don't like it. That's it. Fine. And something really cool, just a bit of trivia, just to, just to try and steal Mr. Holland's thunder. But a really nice piece of trivia is that the Faber business has been um, alive and working for 70 years now, and it was their 70th anniversary this year. So all the Fabers, uh, Fabol, in Amsterdam gave out free food um, this year. So people just came in, could use a token, open it up, and get themselves a free piece of the snack. And also, it may look pretty cheap, and <laughs> it may look, it is cheap, it may look not that good, but actually, they did a taste comparison, they got a, t a chef to come in and taste it, a chef from a, um, a really prestigious restaurant, taste it, and um, a blind tasting, and he verified that it's all good ingredients. So it's just, a, it's just an institution here in Amsterdam. Okay, so, we've got some melon and honey ice cream, um, just in Chinatown, found, finally found my dessert. No, I've got my own chauffeur. Let's go! <laughs> let's go. Oh god, he's really pushy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.